Joins the Yankees bullpen that looks a little different than last season would have led the majors in ERA and opponent batting average. Clay Holmes remains anchored at the ninth inning, but it's the path there that has certainly changed. And you wonder how newcomers like Ferguson figure in. You see that Tommy Canely will be back. Jonathan Lewisica, they hope, will be at full health. Scott Efros back from his arm surgery. As you see things kind of shaken out, do you, do you start thinking, how do you stack up seven, eight, nine? Well, you do, but I think we look at that bullpen graphic as a whole right now and what we think it's going to project to be. And I'm glad you mentioned the Yankee bullpen last year was the best in baseball ERA-wise. So can this bullpen match that? Probably not. But even if they take a few steps back, I think there's still going to be a very representative bullpen. I like the moves that Brian Cashman made, bringing in a couple of new lefties. Wandy Peralta is going to be missed. But when I looked at that graphic, the one name that jumped out at me, Michael, was Jonathan Loisega. I think seven games last year he's got to be the difference maker maybe the Michael King what he was last year to the Yankees bullpen where he can go those valuable innings maybe it may be more than one inning but you have to keep this guy healthy this year and that's that's been a tough proposition yeah. he's great when he's healthy is he going to be healthy if he is then he almost becomes Mariano Rivera in 1996 where you get the seventh and eighth inning out of him and then you lead it to Holmes and I agree with you we can't fudge it losing Peralta is a big deal tough single-minded purpose didn't get scared about any situation Boone could use him at any point and I think the Yankees wanted him back they were surprised that the Padres came in with that kind of offer now for Wandy that's essentially a one-year deal but he could turn it into a four-year deal because they're all three options so uh, less per year than I thought he was going to get but still a good deal for him he's guaranteed 16 and a half million dollars if he picks up the options but the Yankees did pick up somebody that a lot of people in baseball love uh, Caleb Ferguson mm -hmm. this guy is a ground ball pitcher also has a high strikeout rate he's a lefty out of the bullpen that could serve the role that Wandy served and, and they they, they kind of kept improving what they're doing they like gauge they thought he was going to be good but the Dodgers wanted to sign Brazier they needed somebody uh, to open up a spot in the bullpen and they and they traded a guy who's a pretty good left-handed reliever and the Yankees grabbed him I think that's gonna be a good move for them they liked him they had good intel and Victor Gonzalez that trade with the Dodgers he is uh, could be one of those kind of sleeping giants if you hear the scouting reports on him